どうもアメジンですこの動画はまあこれから英語にしますもし英語できなかったらぜひ字幕つけてくださいそれでは Okay, guys, today's video is all about this book right here, Making Sense of Japanese What the Textbooks Don't Tell You by Mr. J. Rubin. This is a relatively small textbook. Actually, it's not even a textbook. I wouldn't call it a textbook at all. Some people are like, well, what is this book? Is it something that, like, a College class would require, or is it something that's even academic? Is it a storybook? Is it a novel? This was actually originally called Gone Fishing or Gone Fishing, whatever. And a lot of people were confused like, this this isn't about fishing at all, it's about Japanese. What the heck? <laughs> What is this? Is this a book on Japanese? I wanted to learn about fishing. Stupid Jay Rubin. <laughs> So, the author, Mr. Rubin, here had to change it and he added a bunch of things since it was originally published. I'm gonna go over some points.、Um, you can skip around in this video based on the sections that I will separate it into. Just look in the description for that. First, what is this book? Well, it's not a textbook and it's not a novel of any kind. It's really just some dude's thoughts on the Japanese language. The guy who wrote this book is actually an American professor who teaches Japanese and Japanese literature, I believe, to college students. Basically, Mr. Rubin here took all the major problem sections that students have, all the typical grammar patterns and structures that students struggle with, and he made his own tricks. And his own explanations as to why they work the way they do. He is a native English speaker, of course, being American, so his way of explaining things is very clear and precise, and I love it! This dude is amazing. Again, the guy who wrote this book is Jay Rubin. He's an American professor at a university. He saw like, typical problems, like the difference between wa and ga, and the verbs of giving and receiving. Japanese has like five ways to communicate that. English really has one or two big ways, I guess. It's relatively. Easier, right, than in Japanese. And all the stuff that comes along with that, he talks about hodo and subjectless, seemingly subjectless sentences, passives, talks a little bit about kanji, the difference between shiru and wakaru. Have you ever wondered that? Tame, why Japanese is so backwards, things like that. I'm gonna see if I can show you the contents section a little bit. This book is divided into two parts. It starts with a preface and introduction, which is really good. So here's the contents. You can see part one up here, and part two starts down here. You would think it's relatively, there's not really a lot of content. It is kind of a small book, but these are just the topics that he typically finds students have problems with in his classroom. It's not too much. And his, I must say, his way of writing is absolutely excellent and actually kind of funny at times. I love it. Who is this book for? Well, if you are a student of Japanese,、um, this book is for you. If you've never studied Japanese before and you're just curious about the language, don't read this. <laughs> Do not read this. This book is actually, he says, he says inside this book that you should have already completed like beginner and intermediate Japanese classes at the university level. Why? Because he already expects you to know a little bit about everything he's talking about in here. For example, hodo and ageru, morau, te ageru, te morau, wa, ga, tame, itadaku, aru, te aru. All this stuff you should already know and be a little, at least a little bit familiar with、uh, because of previous classes or maybe a textbook that you've already read. If you finished intermediate Japanese 2 at like the university level, 
I recommend this book for you. This, you are the person who should be reading this because it explains so well some of the trouble, troubling concepts that maybe you've had a hard time with in class. Is this book essential for mastering Japanese or at least understanding it better? Um, well, that depends on you. If you went through your Japanese classes and really understood everything and really didn't have any problems, then this book isn't for you. If you are still confused by passive verbs, the difference between transitive and intransitive verbs, if you're still confused by tame or hodo, or if you're, we're probably all still confused by wa and ga, right? I recommend, highly recommend you get this book and you read it because it really explains these concepts wonderfully and I love it. I love it so much. Overall, because this book is so concise and it just makes things so easy to understand such problem topics and because it's so well written. I don't know, I guess I'd give it a 9 out of 10. Yeah. It's a really good book. Thank you guys for sitting and watching through this video. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, please leave them in the comment section below. If you want me to review other books like this or any other textbooks, please, please, please let me know and I will try to get my hands on them so that I can review them. I do have other book and textbook reviews planned for the future, so stay tuned for those. Peace, guys.